Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Virgo their weekly love read for the week of October 25th through the 31st. So we are going to uh, do you, them, and the connection and see what we got coming towards you this week, Virgo. These are general reads, so if it does not resonate with you, please um, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising. If you're not familiar what your moon and rising signs are, ooh. Um, there is a link in the description box below that will take you to a website to tell you. We are also going to get a Romance Angel Oracle card from Doreen Virtue. A Silhouettes card by Celestial Forecast by Carrie. A White Rose Guidance Divine Love Message from the second volume. And we're going to close your reading off with a Goddess Love Oracle from Wendy Andrew. Thank you for always. Thank you for always. Or thank you as always for coming. I do appreciate um, all your support, guys. You have to forgive my lack of energy. I am trying not to drink coffee all day, and I am dragging. Or not all day, but late in the day. All right, guys. Hmm. So Virgo, um, some of the cards that are popping up here, oh, I guess just two of the cards just popped up in Leo's read, but um, the energy of your read is the Knight of Swords. So this is action oriented. It's direct action, taking a risk, taking a leap, moving forward. It's action. Um, then the Knight of Swords is like an energy that is very intellectual, very um, great sense of humor, but they're, they're taking action. They're rushing towards something. So, uh, that's your overall energy for this read. So let's see what we got here. So for you, um, you have been kind of stuck in some nostalgic type feelings. Um, lots of care. Uh, you could be thinking about past relationships, past people, it could be someone from your childhood, someone, from your work, someone that you went to grade school with, element or uh, elementary school, middle school, high school, whatnot, college, um, but it's someone that you have like genuine nostalgic feelings for. You you're feeling pretty nostalgic. You are really um, in using your intuition and tapping into your spirituality. I think you're really kind of seeking guidance within yourself and within the spiritual techniques that you use, whether it's praying or like meditating or whatnot, like you're really tapping into your intellect or your intuition and your spirituality. And you are full of love, Virgo. You have lots of love to offer. You have a cup that is overflowing with um, warmth and love. Your person is showing up as the queen of cups. So this is, um, Someone that is extremely empathetic, someone that is compassionate, caring, and loving. Um, they have a lot of love to offer you as well. Emotional, very intuitive, um, but they are moving slowly. They are coming in like molasses, right? So the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy in the deck in terms of knights um, or in terms of suits in general. But uh, a pentacle is someone that is committed, who's loyal, who's stable, right? So they might be making their way slowly but surely, but they're um, looking for this new, stable, loyal, committed start with the Ace of Pentacles. So the connection, um, we might have to clarify a card in the connection. So the connection, um, <laughs> it's interesting because the connection is rapid forward movement. I mean, the connection is this Knight of Swords, right? Rapid forward movement, jumping into something, rushing forward. The chariot is usually rapid forward movement in a positive direction. Um, however, your person is like dragging their feet, right? Like, no, don't, don't drag me. <laughs> um, but the connection is going to uh, be one where there's a choice that's going to be made. You have a light horse and a dark horse, but it's usually in a positive direction. So this, this relationship or connection will be work moving forward in a positive direction. It does have a lot of passion. There's a lot of passion there. There might be some communication. Um, there's going to be a lot of direct communication about wants and needs and expectations. So the King of Swords is often kind of direct. Um, he thinks with his head and not with his heart. So um, analytical and just um, 
I think that in terms of a connection, there'll be lots of conversations about what people are seeking, what they're willing to do, what they're not willing to do. But I think this connection is moving in the, the right direction. Um, I'm going to clarify the chariot. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. The Hangman. And the King of Pentacles there. You're showing up there, the King of Pentacles. Um, so I think I think the choice is kind of to kind of stay stuck um in this slow energy or to to make a to make a forward movement, right? So the King of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Hangman. So that's if you choose to stay stuck, right, it's going to be, that's exactly it. You're going to be stuck in a situation. You'll be kind of dangling there. Um, the Hangman, though, is more like, um, it's like a healing energy, right? So it's kind of like surrendering, surrendering to the pause is actually the notes I took on it at one point. So you kind of surrender to what is, right? So you're not forcing anything um it may not be exactly what you like but you're just kind of stuck there and you're kind of letting things be the way they are uh it will be an equal and balanced situation with the six of pentacles it's equal give and take um you will get what you give eventually and and you will be sitting here as you are as the king of pentacles um it will be a stable grounded committed loyal loving connection it'll be stable all right so we are going to get a Romance Angel Oracle by Doreen Virtue. Passion and Retreat. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy in this passion, which we have a page of wands, which would be passion. And Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. But if you look at this card, that looks like they might be leaving on their honeymoon. All right, Virgo, we have White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Message. What message does Virgo need to hear? Volume 2. This is Volume 2. I can't bear to build it all again to watch it wash away. So maybe this is why your person is the pentacles, right? I can't bear to build it all again to watch it, wash, to watch it all wash away. All right, Virgo. We're going to get you a Silhouettes card. So the Silhouettes deck um, could be a message or it could just be like knowledge or information, right? The cards are all a little bit different. So we'll see what Virgo's message from the Silhouettes deck is. I'm tired. Sorry. Drama. Don't start it. Don't allow it. Don't add to it, Virgo. And Fifth Dimension. When our third world is spiraling out of control, here is where chaos cannot touch us. Here is where we can just be. So the fifth dimension, if you're if you're not skilled in that information um, or knowledgeable in that information, it's kind of like um, it's not your connection in the in the in this world. That's three D connection. The fifth dimension is more the spiritual connection that transcends physical thing so it's like just the the connection you feel between someone without even talking to them so all right um sorry let me and we'll close this reading off with the goddess love oracle by wendy andrew it's like a soul connection right? kind of Virgo, protection, goddess has your back. So um, this is a very motherly card here, but it's got like a bear next to the mama who is feeding her baby. Um, protection. So I think um, I haven't been reading from the book of what they mean, but I think maybe this like connection is protected. I think, you know, if it's coming through higher on a fifth level, that's where you don't really get yourselves hurt, right? Um, the real world is where things feel like they might be spiraling out of control for you. But I think uh, just keep in mind that there will be forward movement. This will end in a, a stable situation. Um, but it might just be a bit slower than you choose it to be or that you want it to be. Right? Because we have this here. We have this here. But your person's this. So... 
All right, Virgo. Uh, well, we got them all. That concludes our reading. Um, until next time, guys, uh, take care. And if you would be so inclined, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.